YouTube, how you doing? Yukok here, and we are doing another Yes Heat Trek Guide. This time we're in Japan, it is Suzuka. An amazing track, super flowing, super fun. Unfortunately not too quick for the McLaren, but we'll find some pace. So, Sector 1 is all about compromise. So we're going to turn 1, breaking on the runoff on the left there, that little road. And then you want to roll into, it's like a double corner there, roll into the second one and power out. Now here, every single corner is a compromise. So you're only going to be tapping the brake, letting off the throttle, not too much slowing down here. But just make sure when you exit each corner, you're exiting the middle of the track to prepare for the next corner. And then the final corner here, this is one you want to fully prepare for. So you can get a really good run all the way around this left-hander and then save loads of time coming into these two right-handers here. Right, break between the 100 and the 50 board. Try not to take too much curb on the inside. And then as soon as you exit, hard on the brakes again for this right-hander. We'll use all the exit on the left there. And now we've got a really tight hairpin coming up. Drop it to TC1. Brake on the just after the red and white curb finishes there. Keep it really tight because the camber of the corner there, if you run wide, you're going to lose a lot of time and just wash out. Um, the reason I go TC1 there is so we can get a really good exit. Uh, the rest of the track, I pop it up to TC3 because it's a bit of a slippy surface, this track. Now, two left-handers here. Break just before the runoff on the right there, just like turn one. Uh, and then sort of just try and hold it tight. Don't push too hard. If you push too hard, you're going to run wide and lose time. Use all the exit curb as well. Quite easy to get a track limit one in here if you go too far, so, you know, be cautious when you're doing that. And now we've got 130R, the infamous corner. You just got to let off the throttle a bit here, that's all. And then push it all the way out. Come back across, break between the two white boards on the left. You can use all the curb on the inside here. Short shift to second for the final left to get a really good bit of traction. Easy right hand of flat here, took it back across. And that is a lap of Suzuka. Woo! So, yeah, I, as you may have seen there, this track is a lot about compromise. Because it's just... It's not just like a single corner, it's like a section of sweeping corners. Ooh, that wasn't too good. Uh, it's, a, it's like a section of just corner after corner after corner. So this whole first sector... You know, it, let's, say I, let's say I'm going to push. I'll, I'll show you guys now what not to do. Let's say I want to push this corner as hard as I can. And then I'm going to exit here. And then this right-hander, oh no, what do I do? And then if I push this one really hard... Then, I'm, look, I'm giving myself a really tight corner here, and look at the delta. The delta is just dying. <laughs> We've lost almost a second just because I was pushing too hard for some corners. So you really want that whole first sector, every single corner, every single corner you're compromising for the next until you get to the final left-hander. This, uh, this track requires a very high downforce setup for this car because you can get away with running the maximum wing the McLaren is quite efficient with its uh, with its wing usage. So yeah, maximum wing. You want to run quite soft, but not too soft on the suspension because there are some curbs you need to go over. Like I say, the first Degna, you don't want to take too much, but you know you want to take enough. Uh, and also the final corner, uh, there's some big curbs there, and if you're able to take some of them, you could really save a lot of time, which is good. Um, 130R here as well. This is, uh, in some cars, going to be very spicy coming up. But this car, not too bad. Like I say, you can just let off the throttle, throw it in. It's quite forgiving, which is good. It's quite a forgiving uh, uh, car for that corner. Because the McLaren works good under high downforce situations. Woo! God, this track is so good. <laughs> right, let's see if we can do a good lap here. Uh... Maybe we can hop into the low 59s, that would be good. Let's focus. Tuck it back across. Nice. Just letting off the throttle. Little dab at the brakes. Letting off the throttle again. Ooh, a little bit of curb there, I didn't want that. Keep it tight for this one. All to set up this final corner here so we can power all the way through it. Had a little bit of a snap, I don't know if you saw there. A few 
few little snaps. Oh, we left the TC on one. <laughs> that could be uh, the reason. As I was saying, this this track is a uh, it's a very slippy track. It's a very slippy track. So uh, I like to run TC two or three here, and I guess the start of this was a good example. You see all those snaps I got? Every snap I got, I lost time. So having a higher TC value. Although people might think, oh, higher TC, you're going to not be able to get the throttle down as much. McLaren's quite efficient. It's quite efficient when it comes to that. So, you know, wh when you need it, use it. This track is one of them. So, you know, th this, t this time could have been about two or three steps quicker from that first sector. But unfortunately, it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe I just need to be better on the throttle, eh? Oh, we run a little bit wide there, but it's okay. Hard on the brakes. Over the first curb, over the second curb, power out. And this is going to be a 59.4, quite similar to my first lap to be honest, but the time's definitely there. You know, let's try one more, one more sneaky lap. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we brought it back across well there. Cars still try to snap a little bit. Yeah, the car's still trying to snap on me. It is a spicy car around here. Okay, not not the greatest lap so far, but it's still it's still pretty good, you know. That was nice. Right, let's see if we can do two good corners up here. Bring the delta back. That was nice. Dab the brakes, bring it back across. On the throttle, don't run too wide. Wow, look at that. We just saved about two temps. So the time is there, a lot of it is getting the traction. If you start sliding, you lose time. Nice. Not great traction coming out, but still, not bad. Not bad. This might be a high 58, low 59, which is pretty good. I think we had potential there if we did the first sector a little bit better. Probably a mid-58 there, which is pretty good, you know. That definitely puts us amongst the mix of some of, you know, sort of the midfield pack of cars, which is where this where this car belongs here. So unfortunately, not the quickest, but still really good. Very competitive. So, guys, was, this has been quite a long one. <laughs> Mainly, maybe I like this circuit a little bit too much. That might be why I, I did a few extra laps there, but... Well, you can't blame me, right? It's Suzuka. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a few things here. Big, big takeaways are compromising every corner in, in the first sector so you can, you know, you can take the next corner. You know, think about the next corner. Always think ahead. Um, remember to run a bit higher TC and, yeah, just, just have fun. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Peace.